Welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how I make my beats in Ableton. I don't have a name for this series yet, but I guess I'll call it Making a Beat in Ableton. You ready? Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into the cookup, right? Um, I've got Ableton pulled up. Let's go ahead and start the beat. Uh, first off, I'm going to drag my master chain onto there. It's a preset that I made. Just some EQs, a limiter, you know, nothing fancy, nothing too fancy. And uh, now that we got that done, uh, I want to make a lo-fi beat today, so let's change the tempo to 96 BPM. Now for some chords. Uh, I don't feel like playing them today, so let's just go to Unison MIDI Pack, right? Let's choose a random pack. Uh, four progressions. I'll do minor. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. So, I'll put that there. Um, no. Put on a loop feature. Arm that. Go to plugins. Gotta have labs. Now, I think I want it to be like a piano. So, yeah, I'll just turn that up. Put some reverb on it. See how that sounds. perfect so now I want to copy that and I want to layer it so I'll go over to analog let's see what I can add <laughs> okay now that analog is open we just keep that playing Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my drum pattern. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab maybe like a kick from Cymatics. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Also want a rim shot. Now let's see. Let's go to my samples. Go to my sounds. These are just like sounds that I made myself from stuff around the house. Let's see. How would that sound with that? Thank you. 
So what I want to do is I want to chop that up. Let's see, close that. There we go. I just want that. I'm probably want it about there. Maybe there. Let's see. How would that sound? Would that be good? Let's see. Nah, I don't like it, but I'll keep it. I'll probably use it for something else later. Yeah, I use this. Okay. Now I just need the first one. Okay, so I did not know that my screen was not recording, but I added a couple stuff. Uh, first off, I added this little synth thing right here. It's just the same chords from before. All right, and then I added this rim shot right here. I believe I started doing it before it stopped recording. And then I added these hi-hats right here, just to fill in some space. After that, I added this pad. And then I took the original chorus that I had and I made this bass line. After I did that, I added this loop right here. It's just a top loop. I thought it would give it a little bit more swing. And then I added some vinyl crackle because it's a lo-fi song. Every lo-fi song has vinyl crackle. After that, I uh, came up with this melody that I decided to whistle and record into Ableton. And now all I did was I added some reverb to it and I made a second one, same amount of reverb on it. I just kind of spaced out the whistle a little bit more. Um, other than that, I did some arrangement as you can see. And I also did a little bit of automation just to make stuff sound smoother. Simple stuff, simple. Okay. Now for the full beat. 